Welcome to your studio at home. Today we're obviously doing something very different from the usual yoga setup that we're used to seeing. I'm going to show you and teach you how to do a really simple foot massage. I know at the moment obviously there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of people overwhelmed and one of the things that we normally reach for when we are feeling stressed is things that make us feel better one of which is massage. But obviously since I cannot offer to massage you myself at the moment, the next best thing is to show you a really simple massage that anybody in your bubble could do to you. So your kids can massage you, your partner, your flatmate, whoever, and showing you just things around the house that you can make this happen with. So you can use, obviously, just a general moisturiser, a body moisturiser to massage the feet. You can also use pretty much any single oil that you have in the house. So you can use your standard olive oil, obviously put it into a dish or something first and not just keep taking it out of the bottle. Or if you do have some sort of wax, obviously using that. Um, what I'm going to get you to use today as well is just one large towel and two smaller towels. So that can be a hand towel or even just a face cloth. And then just having the person sit in a chair or if you prefer, you can have them lie down if you can get access to their feet that way as well. And that is pretty much what I need to tell you to start with. So I'm going to go through now and just overview of the techniques that we're going to be using. And then I'm going to zoom everything in a little bit closer and actually massage and do a whole sequence. And you're just going to follow through with me. So the thought is whoever's going to be giving the massage can just pop the headphones in watch what I'm doing and do the massage exactly the same time that I'm doing it. And I'm going to put a link to a Spotify playlist as well, which will be really nice to play so the person who's getting the massage can really, really relax. So when you're ready, we're going to get into it. I'm going to obviously get somebody to massage. I'm going to get my husband in just to be the model to show us what to do. So ta-da! And now I have my husband who is going to be the foot model. And obviously daughter who's decided today that she wants to be held all day and not in her bed. So I'm just going to let her hang out and see how we get on. So get yourself all set up. I want you to come to sit in front of whoever you are going to massage. But you're going to sit however obviously you're comfortable but really important that you do sit up nice and straight. We don't want to be leaning over. So the first few things that I want to show you. Let me take this out of the way is just the techniques that we're going to be using. So there's a few different massage techniques. One is the sweeping technique. So this is pretty much to get whatever you're using, the oil or the massage cream, all over the skin so you can start to work on it. So this is just basically however works for you, just touching as much of the foot and up the leg a little bit as you possibly can. You want to have the leg coming straight out and supporting the ankle so they can just let that leg be nice and relaxed. And that's pretty important for the whole massage as well, is at each point you need to be supporting the leg or the foot somehow so they can relax, they're not having to tense their muscles because that doesn't feel good. Um, other techniques that we're going to use is we're just going to circle around the ball of the big toe. So again, you're going to just support the foot and the leg so they can just completely let all of the weight go. Holding on and you're just going to draw circles around the ball of the big toe. So we're pressing in to the softer parts of the foot as well. We never want to massage where there's bones. We want to massage where there's muscle. Obviously, that's what we massage. So you're going to get your finger, your thumb in quite deep and press and just go around. The next... Um, massage technique that we're going to use, call it the monkey grip. Yeah. So you're going to bring your hand like this <laughs> and you're going to slide your fingers down. See, you're trying to use the knuckles and that part of your hand and just gliding it down. Again, gliding down where the softest part of the foot is. We're going to use that same technique as well on the inside of the foot, the outside of the foot. We're going to massage around the ankle bones, but not the whole bones because it doesn't feel nice. We're just going to massage again. It's like the soft underneath parts of it. And then another technique we're going to use is almost trying to spread the foot. So you're going to grab the bottom of the foot and you take your thumbs 
in and out. It's like you're massaging up the middle of the foot and you're trying to stretch it as you go up. And doing the same on the top, but again, a little bit lighter on the top of the foot because we've got the bones there and it doesn't feel nice to really press too hard on the bones. And that is pretty much the main technique you're going to use. So, oh, one more actually important one, feels really good if we get this one right, is you're going to again bring the whole weight of the leg into your hand and grab onto the thigh, onto the calf muscle, sorry, and pull down all the way into the ankle. So we, if it feels nice to the person, you can ask them how, what sort of pressure they like. You give it a little bit of a squeeze as you pull. The most important part of this is making sure you've got that weight of the leg, because if they're holding and tensing, it's not feeling nice for them. So that is the start. What I want you to do now is get your person, get yourself ready, Tell them to close down their eyes, get relaxed, get your headphones in so they don't have to hear the whole process of me talking and put on some nice music and get ready to help them relax. Right. Okay, so when you are ready and in position, you're going to grab your big towel and actually just bring it over your legs. That is obviously to give the person a little bit of extra cushioning and to protect your clothes from whatever oil or wax you're using. You're going to grab on their right leg and get them to place the heel onto your thigh. So trying to have the leg nice and straight. Ideally you'd be a lot more straight on than what I am but I'm just over on a bit of an angle because it helps you see what it makes you doing with the foot. And then come to grab your oil or your wax, whatever you're using. Warm it up a little bit, and then you're going to start with those welcoming touches. So as I said, we're just spreading and trying to touch as much of the foot and the lower leg as we can. So you're giving it a bit of a squeeze as you do it, and you're just thinking you're trying to touch every last little bit of skin right now. So also it's nice to bring in a count is how I normally do it. So I count to five as I do the stroke. So one, two, three, four, five. So it keeps your speed slow and consistent. That's one of the main things with relaxation massage is you just want to be slow and smooth. So squeezing, squeeze all the way up. This position or this technique is also known as milking, which sounds kind of gross, but it's like you're squeezing all the way up to the top. So we're just going to do that one more time. Cool. And then with your right hand, if it feels right for you, you're going to come to bring your hand underneath the heel and then the left thumb is going to start doing circles around the big toe mound. So you can stay with that count of one, two, three, four, five to make your way around and pressing in quite firmly when you're in the underneath side of the toe mound. And try to keep it slow and smooth. And we'll just do that one more time. Now slide your left hand down the foot, placing it underneath, and then bring your right hand up, coming into your monkey hand, and you're going to slide that right from the top of the foot all the way down to the bottom. So again, with the count, one, two, three, four, five, so nice and slow. Do that two more times. Then you're going to do the same to the inside of the foot. So keeping your monkey hand and just running it along the inside of the foot. Again, into the soft bit all the way off the foot. Obviously that would be a little bit harder for you to see, so all I'm doing is just running my hand all the way on the inside and going right off the heel at the back, pressing in on the arch of the foot and just buttoning off the pressure a little bit as we go to the heel. For one more time. 
and then we're going to draw semicircles around the inside of the ankle. So imagining this is the inside, we're just coming around the bottom part here, and again just slowly. And I like to use the middle finger and the index finger to do this. Just going up and down. And then you're going to come to bring your right arm all the way up leg. And this is where it's really important to support that leg. So you're going to pull all the way down to the ankle and then bring your left arm up. You're just trying to keep it slow. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And squeezing a little bit. If you're making sure you've got enough wax or oil on the leg to do this, so we don't want to be feeling like we're pinching the hairs. One more. Leaving the right hand on the heel. Come to bring your left hand into your monkey grip again and just running down the inside of the foot, of the outside, sorry. And you're going a lot softer this time because it's obviously a lot bonier there. If you can, drawing little circles with the fingers as you come up. that doesn't feel right for you, obviously just sticking with going straight down. And then to the outside of the ankle. Begin with the middle finger and the index finger, just pressing in. Right, one more. And then coming to the sole of the foot, and this is when we're running up the middle and then spreading out. So it is like, imagine you're trying to stretch the foot, we come to the middle first and then stretching out. So applying a bit of pressure here if you want to, just checking in with your purse and making sure the pressure feels okay. And making your way all the way up to the top. It can feel quite nice just to pull gently over the toes as well. So a few times with this. last time. And then the top of the foot. Again, same technique, we're going in the middle and then spreading out to the sides. Again, a little bit lighter on the top of the foot because it is quite bony. one and I want you to bring your thumb to the middle of the ankle and you're just going to press in and press up like you're drawing a straight line so this is working with one of the main meridian lines in the body and then just making your way back down again and then again we just come into those strokes that we did at the start this time the goodbye strokes and you're counting one, two, three, four, five. Hold for a moment. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Hold. Last one. Get the foot a nice squeeze. And then coming off, grabbing onto one of your hand towels or onto your face cloth and you're going to bring it underneath the foot and however you want to just like you're wrapping it up and then again giving it a bit of a squeeze pressing down so imagine first like you're trying to get all of the oil or the wax off the foot and then give it a squeeze so you can either leave this on here if you want to or you do the other foot or take it off to do the opposite foot Good timing. Right, so coming to get the opposite foot and bring it up onto your leg. 
So again, you are going to be ideally straight on. I'm coming on an angle because I'm just trying to get you to see as much of this as you can. So getting the wax and starting with those welcoming strokes where we just do squeeze in and try to get the wax over as much of the leg and the foot as you can. Then bring that count in. One, two, three, four, five, and squeeze. You can't really tell, but I am squeezing and pulling as I'm doing this. So I'm just going to do this a few times. So one more. And then you're going to bring your left hand to underneath the foot and your right hand is going to come to do the circles around the big toe mound this time. Then pressing in and pulling out. So if that feels awkward for you, just doing it whichever hand does feel natural. For one more. And getting your monkey grip with your hand and coming down the foot slowly and you are pressing in quite a lot with that first knuckle and the flat part of the finger. One more and then the inside of the so obviously doing that with the left hand and just coming down the inside all the way till you come right off the foot. For one more. And then to the inside ankle bone and again with the middle finger and the index finger just in the soft part and then coming to do the whole leg so bring that weight into your hand and then pulling and squeezing all the way down to the ankle Even with your count, keeping it slow. And then coming to the inside of the ankle, with the outside again, sorry. And then with your monkey grab again going on all the way down the side of the foot. So you can draw those little circles if you can, or just going straight down. Again, we're going a lot softer here, and we're just trying to most run our way down if we can find any softer parts on the side of the foot. So going with them. Do our circles and pulling on the bottom of the foot. So again, we're going up the middle and then pulling out. One more. And the same to the top of the foot. So again, remember we go a little bit lighter on the top because it is really bony. But just running your thumbs down the middle and then just spreading all the way out to the edges of the foot.
are going at the middle of the ankle and just drawing straight lines with the thumbs. And then making your way back down again. And finishing with those big sweeping strokes. Again, trying to touch as much of the foot and the leg as you can. And one last one. So holding. Getting your face cloth or your hand towel. And just wrapping the foot up. Again, giving a little bit of a rub like you're trying to get the oil or the wax off. And then just hold and squeeze. And then to finish off completely, we'll just get both of the feet up onto the legs. And just finish with just some nice sweeping strokes. And then just holding at the ankles, feel nice and grounded. Slowly releasing your pressure. And go off the grip a little bit by little bit. And we're done.